Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... B this, uh, better... I don't know. Here's a list of celebrities I don't like. God damn! Hello, everybody! I'm Red Devil, and welcome back to an Age of the Ring cast. I've been ill for the past five days. I'm feeling, like, I, I'm feeling much better now, but I'm still a little blocked up uh, nasal-wise, so my voice might sound strange. Who knows? And I might, like, you know, sniffle into the mic a bit or cough, and I do apologize for that. But, uh, you know, you can't just sit on my ass. I gotta get back to work, man. Like, there's little gobbos here. Anyway, we are on the Tower Hills. One of my favorite maps. One of the OG maps from Vanilla Biff Me Too. I was actually gonna have this map in the most recent tournament. But, it only has three towers. It doesn't have a fourth tower here. Now, I'm pretty sure the towers in this one, when you cap them, they just give you vision. But the fact that it didn't have a fourth tower here meant that it was technically unbalanced, so I couldn't actually use it for the tournament. Um, but it's a classic, so let's hope we get a classic game. In the top left, we've got Hesh. Big boy Hesh, he's in so many casts now. His teammate is a dog or dog, we got Durin, your mum. Durin, if you're watching this, I hope you bought those Skittles I told you to get. Opposite him is Tonio. Some call him Antonio, but he's just Tonio, and he's playing Erebor. And to finish it all off, we have another DG, and it is Tauron, the guy who loves to feed heroes. And what better way to feed heroes uh, than by making Thrain the Broken. Outpost on this map, always a good fight over that, although Thrain's just got this easy. We've got the forward jail, so have fun fighting that, Hesh. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we got. Uh, I think in Vanilla Biff Me too. there are war glares here, and there are inns, I think. And then maybe there's wargs protecting here. And in the middle... I forget what's in the middle of OG uh, Tower Hills, but it's definitely not these Goblin Caves. It's something else. Anyway, Spider's moving in. Builder, in trouble. I don't think he was expecting Builder to start. I don't think he gives a shit about his Builder, but he's gone down already. Whew. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, don't worry. You've got some archers just shooting at them. They'll totally do amazing damage to those Spiders. I mean, look. That's totally what those archers are for. And Durin's like, wait, why am I running away? I've got the swords here. And there it is. So yeah, not the best start for Tonio. He's lost a builder. He's using archers to fight spiders. In his defense, I don't think uh, he was expecting spiders, but... Yeah. You want to get some pikes out now, boy. Anyway, we got a stealth tower from Durin. We've got Broken Rebel fighting Orcs. We've got the Wraith Summon here just to guarantee he gets the win. Thrain is actually in the back there, one-shotting these Orcs. And isn't that useful to have some little stealthy bolding cunt just, you know, to stab people. I think I feel like that's useful. And I feel like he's going to send Orcs around the back to destroy this outpost, or is he just going to cap it outright? Nope, Hesh says this outpost is mine. He's just going to cap it outright. All right. And let's see how many barracks he's got. Two. We've got double lumber mill as well. We've actually got orcs in the back. He's split them up. And we got spiders. He's not going to get XD again. Will you get a fucking pike? There they are. Use the mines, man. Okay. I feel like this bottom team... I mean, we've seen Tauron before. But this Tonio kid. If you get XD'd again, he might be... This might be just noob bashing. This Tonio kid. This might be his third game. He might be like, man, I watched that Rude Devil video. This mod seems so fun. Let me play. And I got crushed. But I guess we were all noobs one day, so you got to learn sometime. All right, walk archers. I would get the forward tower here, man. Stealth. Pretty good range on the high ground. And provide extra cover f er, for your orc archers. And he's actually managed to keep the, uh, the outpost. So tower on accomplishing something. There goes Joel from the grave. He is losing. Oh, Cargas rush, okay. I mean, he's losing the mill. I would send Cargas to go, you know, deal with those guys harassing the mill, but he wants to set him up here. And more orcs are on the way. What's he going to build to support it? There's no Herc statue you can build. Herc statue would be so annoying here. Let me make a declaration. The next people to send me 2v2 cast that has to be on Tower Hills. You want to be featured on the Rude Devil channel? You want to be a star? Well, it's got to be on Tower Hills, because this is just bringing back all the nostalgia. 
It's about to hit me like a fucking truck, but there we go. This annoys me that he's not dealt with this. Spiral Sorcery coming out, he's lost two mils, that's three power points. Random tower being built. Okay, this Tony kids will watch way too much Redevil. Way too much Redevil. What the fuck, man? Okay, now they're coming back. Just send one all archer and Thrain and you're good. Right, this has to be Mordor, right? No, that's a Doggle Door banner. Okay, hey, she's just letting it go. He's gonna get the free Orc Jail. And Tauron is like, no, we send we send everything or nothing. We send the entire army to deal with one thing, or we don't send it at all. Alright, doing your mom. We're gonna switch it up to Arable Cam now. Which I think I was on, he just didn't select a power. Yeah, okay. Both Toggle Doors have the... Oh no, actually. Sorry, Tonio is on Durin Cap. Durin, you haven't picked a power yet. Oh man. Tonio, why? You have to click this button here, man. And then you can select some spells. It was literally my favorite thing about anything ever. Whenever there's a new faction out, I always want to know about the spell book. The spells were just... Playing this game as a kid and I saw the spells for the first time, it was enchanting. Seeing Aravoli go off. And Dwarven Riches. And fucking Barrage. I thought that was like meteorites coming down. Dwarven Citadel. Oh man, the spell books are just the best. Okay, Troll coming in. Orcs hitting uh, the back of the jail here. He's gonna need to get a lot more Risen Dead. He's got one. And he's got two. But that's a lot of Orc Archers that can just basically pepper Kargast. And that's a good idea from uh, Hesh because he can uh, do a lot of damage to these Risen Dead with that ability. There goes the knockback. Actually, those archers are doing very little damage to Kargast. I know they're Orc archers, but I thought that'd be a lot more. Okay, Horde Bonus is about to come in. Another troll as well. I was just about to say... Oh, no, he ain't an Orc. I was going to say, pick up, a, pick up a tree, man. Get that cleave damage going on. Alright, dwarves are piling in here. I still don't get why he built the tower here, maybe to protect the builder, I'm guessing. He's capping the outpost back. And I guess with outpost eco, it shouldn't be that surprising you car guys now that I think about it. More risen dead. He's gonna keep the spearman to get the troll. Erebor pikes are somewhere. Where the hell? There they are. And a full-on retreat. Let's go. Thrain leveling up. Another troll coming in here. And this is cool. We've got the triple orc pit. Kinda of fighting 2v1 here. Okay, he's built another tower. Definitely not a sound strat. Blighted Trapper's coming out for Durin. Do good building damage and also really good range as well. He's got the outpost eco against the guy that hasn't picked a power yet. Uh, is he gonna get XD again? Fuck. I'm not. I'm not picking on this kid, by the way. I don't want anyone to go. Oh, good devil, picking on him, picking on him. I'm not. I want him to learn from his mistakes. First of all. You want to pick a power. Second of all, I know it pains me to say it, and I know some players can get away with it, but don't waste money on unnecessary towers. It hurts me to say it, but don't do that. Anyway, Crimpol is out for Tauron. We've got Men of Dale going in to try and take back the outpost. I don't think he ever owned it. He's got some Erebor archers in the back. He should be focusing the Blighted Trappers. Where did they get the building damage? Is it this one? Yeah, Noxious Starts. Deals additional damage to structures. Cool. I think Blighted Trappers on Aggressive Stance can actually outrange towers. I'm pretty sure they can. Alright, is that Kamul? No, it's just regular Nazgul. Okay. Jail has been rebuilt, I think, under the threat of trolls. Yeah, I don't think you were going to get it, man. He's upgrading the... Spire of Sorcery. If he can get Harbingers out, which might be difficult. If he can get Harbingers out, then he can make a comeback here. Because these are just Orcs and Trolls. Um, but yeah, there's enough of them to cause some panic. I don't think the heroes could deal with that uh, by themselves. There goes the summon. Tower's about to go down. Grimple's still in full health, has his level 3 summon. And there is no one for the Nazgul to trample. Come on, Harbinger of Shadow, you gotta queue it up now. 3k! This has been- he's saved so much money because all he's made are orcs. And he's had... Barely any Risen Dead spam to worry about. 
He's got enough orcs to just protect his trolls. Man, this is such a newbie affair. This is like playing a in like first gear. He's not even getting close to sweating. He's got 3k and he still goes for slaves with nerd. I think he went for Moloch. If he's got 3k that just immediately gone, I think he's gone for Moloch. But yeah, there goes the orc jail. It's just down to the heroes now. Which... There goes the Dogodor summon tier 2 for Tauron. And do these things not trample? Or what's that about? Okay, well, I guess they got some trample. Alright, Crimple almost dead. Kargas level 5 knocks the troll over. If the spy goes down, it's GG. He can still recover so long as he gets some harbingers out, but if the spy goes down, it's definitely GG. Alright. Durin, your mom, literally playing on easy mode right now, has Sinethra, a rare pick, but actually a solid pick, ironically. Given how little people buy that hero, you'd think they weren't that good, but no, they're actually a really solid hero. And let's see. We got a counterattack from Tauron, but I'll check that later. Tower, tower. Okay, yeah, this guy's watched way too much Rude Devil. This is... This is the influence I have, which I'm not proud of. I just... Not quite sure how to stop it. People actually make fun of me for towers. But I make them work, okay? You tell anyone. I make those towers work. It's not so easy, is it? If you think it's laming, well, we'll see you get away with it then. Alright, so Nathra's sister's just to really mean? No. And I'm pretty sure he just told me to fuck off of there. That was kind of rude. Not gonna lie, that was a bit of a dick move. Alright, we got the stun. Tauron is behind economically, big time. We got Slaves of Nern, soon to be Outpost Eco. His expenses are minimal. And if he really wanted to win, he could just go Easterlings, or he could go Legions of Morgul. Or, which he might actually get now. Or he could actually go Ologs. He had the eco for Ologs. And I think that would have worked just as well. I'm gonna guess Tonio thinks that he can just defend with towers and then send his entire army over. <laughs> But I don't think that's going to work, because Ravagers are out now. More than one. Sinethra. Ungarrison Towers. Wait, no, they're garrisoned now. But no banner upgrade. There goes the stun. We've got stun value. And I don't think the Noxious Darts are being used. I never see them get used. Come on. Bro, I gotta... I, I, I get so many casts, and they have, like, cool names, or people give me cool descriptions. But this, I'll be honest, I'm still enjoying it, but it has been a bit of a scrub off. It has been a bit of a scrub off. Alright, there's Mouth of Sound. There's a sh bundle of orcs there. Any sort of cleave will do. Harbingers can actually do that, but... They're, they're, is it? Oh no, they're still fine. You can keep fighting. Bro, he's clearly stopping you. Just go. Look at the pathfinding interrupt from these raids. That's why you always summon him in the back. There's Gothamore got his warg. Man, he looks awesome. And he dismounted him as I said it. Okay, fuck you. And again, not much effort from the mortal part. But he's getting results. Because now he's got the eco to just match his heroes. I was expecting Moloch, but I guess he went for spy, um, mortal sorcery. Now, you can take your time, and you can take it easy against Dorgaldorf, if it's a bit too easy. The problem is, is that Tauron is getting kills, and... You want- really? You're gonna need Entwives to beat this guy? Really, Durin? Entwives? Come on, man! But yeah, you always have to be wary. He could be getting close to, uh, Darkness, or Gift of the Necromancer. Alright, Durin summoned the Wogs, and then just left them there. As you do. Harbingers of Shadow, last line of defense. Cargas glow in blue, like those glow in the dark stickers or whatever the fuck. And. Let's see if Tony has picked a spell, by the way. He's gone with the worst one. Hell yes. Alright, are we gonna queue up some Broken Rebel? No, just summon it just to be cool. Mother Saron on half health. And I think the spy is going to go down. 
they gonna claim any orcs before it does? No rebuild came from the dwarves that day. Help us! Just walks away. Okay, yeah, this has been my reaction when Scrub Cup. I'm pretty sure the final of the Scrub Cup was played on this map, so... It's only fitting that we have such a scrubby game. Look how many raids! The spies seem to get no value, but those raids would say otherwise. Yeah, if Hesh wanted to, you could just make catapults in this GG, it's done. So now three level three, okay. He's queuing up Vault Wardens. Oh man, this is... God bless him, he's trying, he's trying. What's he, cook what's he cooking up here? Level one, what's he thinking? Battle wagon against an wife? Level five, blighted trappers, and they've... All they've had to do is just stand there. Okay. This game is, uh... Yeah, yeah, th th this game is done. I think Hysteria just went on the model army there. But I don't think those orcs can do enough air damage to kill the Witch King, so I don't think he's going to be that bothered about Hysteria. And Cracks of Doom there, doing what Cracks of Doom does. Did any mortal heroes die from that? Well, some orcs actually perished from that. But yeah, the heroes are fine. If they were maybe Easterlings, Eastling archers with barbed arrows, you could see that. But there might have been one too many heroes actually for a Syria to work there. Anyway, we're near the end of the game. There's five heroes, he's lost all of his. Oh no, he's still got Cargast, I guess. But yeah, it's not gonna do much. When you play on easy mode, I suppose. He did make a battle wagon, he's actually getting some value out of it, which is hilarious. Trampled some ravages and then died. And he did go with Sinetra sisters in the end. Well done. That's what if if you suspect that your guy is very inexperienced with a faction you're playing with, and you have the opportunity to do Sinetra sister, I feel like you should always go with it. I think it's just the perfect amount of tilt for a new player. Anyway, Wraith on Wings, level 5 troll. Kargas finally goes down with his ship. And uh, yeah, that was uh, Mordor on easy mode. The hero rush was a good idea. He had the outpost. It was just the rest of his play was lacking. He didn't have enough Risen Dead to combat the orc spam. And he just had such a torrid time trying to get rid of these trolls. Uh, if you're Doggledorn, you're trying to get rid of trolls and he's... Got like 3,000 orcs defending him, so pikes are out of the question. Yeah, I think you have to go, uh, Blight of Trappers. And there it is. I think Durin was just, you know, being chilling there. In fact, this Tonio kid might just be a hub alt account, who the hell knows. But yeah, that was a scrub affair. I like to upload. I like to upload. I don't know what my brain was thinking of that. I like to upload games that... That have, like, a quirky feature to them. Like, someone does something that's unexpected or unorthodox and it makes it interesting sort of gimmicky like that or i like to upload videos where there's just a really epic battle and a huge like clash of armies and like lots of uh, powers coming in lots of buffs and combos this game had none of that but it was still funny and for the sake of tower hills so people don't forget that this map exists and hopefully there'll be more cast to come on this map so that's, that's the reason. It's for Tower Hills. That's why it's going up. But yeah, this this has been a very newbie affair. So there you go. I guess we got to see Sinethra's sister because we got the opportunity for that. He's queued up three more. Wow, only 600? I guess you need level three. What's their health, by the way? 3,000? I think like five. Four or five will guarantee our fortress goes down. Assuming no rebuild. And there's the cooldown reset. Not sure why. Archers behind. And... There it is. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. That was... 
That was one of the games of all time. I'll see you all next time. Peace out and goodbye.